I've always wanted to get me a drone. And I really like the ones from DJI, especially that Spark, because it can actually track you while you're moving. And even when you're in a vehicle. And I had some cool videos I was going to do with my HRV, with the drone actually following me, you know, aerial shot and different kind of shots that I was thinking about. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet, but I'm still an idea that I have on the table. But I'm not talking about drones in this video. They have a new device that I want to talk about in this video. So this new device that DJI has released is called Robomaster S1. It has a remote that you can control it with. You can play battles with your friends and stuff like that. It's got a cool little gun on it that shoots, you know, laser beam, not real laser beam. And then, it, you know, it shoots out little pebbles and stuff like that. It has feature where it can track you so it can actually follow you around anywhere you go. And it's a nimble little robot, you know, it can go from side to side. It can do a 360 standing still. But the feature that really caught my eye is the fact that you can write these programs to make it do these different kind of tasks. And me being an official programmer, that really caught my interest. Because I would like to write a little program to let this robot do different little things. So that's what I would really do with this thing if I really had it in my hands. It costs $500 right out the gate. So, you know, it's not really cheap. But just to have it to where I can write these little programs and make it do different things would be a cool thing. It actually has 46 components that can be programmed and six programmable AI modules. So you can really get down and do some fancy programming with this thing. It's got off-road capability. It's got hit sensors. It's got all kind of fancy stuff. When I really look at it though, it kind of remind me of those HK in Terminator. Even the drones that DJ made, they almost look like the HKs too. Now I'm not saying DJ is trying to mimic uh, Skynet, but they, if you really look at them, they almost look similar. So if I really decide to get the RoboMaster, it's going to force me to brush up on my programming skills. Because it's been a while since I wrote a program. And I used to create apps for the Apple App Store. And I can tell you right now, it's been a while. So more and more, I'm liking DJI products. I like that Spark drone, and now I really like this RoboMaster. I'm not sure when I'm going to get either one of those products, or I might just get them both. But right now, they're on my wish list. Of course, this is the first edition. I can just imagine what DJ is going to do when they come out with future models. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I just want to talk about this new robot. And if you're a programmer, this is going to be your kind of thing right here. Because like I say, you can program it. Or if you're just a kid at heart, you can just get it just to play tag, laser tag kind of games. And it's fun for the whole family. All right, so I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.